There are over 100 billion planets scattered across our galaxy. Some are frozen giants, some are burning spheres of gas, and some are suspected to hold life. Yet in all these worlds, Earth is the only place where mankind has ever been confirmed. So the question is, with all these planets out there, do you still think we are the only ones that exist? Scientists have discovered thousands of planets outside our solar system. Many sit in the perfect zone where water can exist. And where there is water, life can grow. We've also received strange signals from deep space, fast radio bursts that appear and vanish in seconds, and the famous wow signal that came once and never returned. Then there are the things we've seen here on Earth. Military pilots have recorded objects with no wings, no engines, and movements that break the laws of physics. People across the world report silent triangles, bright spheres, and creatures that do not match any known species. Some encounters feel connected, strange lights, unusual sounds, moments that happen right after something crosses our skies. We've even seen objects enter our solar system from the outside. Umamua moved in ways no normal rock should move, leading some scientists to wonder if it was made by something. Not from here. Put all these clues together, the planets, the signals, the objects, the encounters, and the mystery becomes harder to ignore. And maybe others are too far away, too distant for our technology, too advanced or too ancient for our timelines to ever match. Worlds that exist so far from us that we may never cross paths. But if the universe holds this many planets, this many possibilities, then we are forced to ask a final question. Are we truly alone? Or are we simply one civilization among many, separated by distance, time, and mysteries we still cannot explain? This is the Napoleon Files. Click on the subscribe button.